Be right back. I was trying to go um, live off of um, a different phone, so I had some problems. You guys, we're going to eat today. I'm going to take you guys out to eat. So I'm gonna give people time to come into the chat and I am going to go get my food. So I'll be back. I'm here guys. Hold on, I'm getting my food. Y'all know I had to eat. Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? I haven't been live in a long time. Oh, thank you so much. All right, hi guys, thank you. Okay, so guys, I miss Sizzla, it's okay. Now I gotta get my other phone to see who is in the chat because I was having difficulties, okay? And I was like, most of the time my iPhone works perfect but I'm on the Samsung so let's see can everybody hear me let me know if you guys can hear me or not I'm out you guys know I got something to show you and we're just celebrating the what 4,000 subscribers guys thank you so much I appreciate it okay let me see is everything working oh y'all just don't understand I had to move twice okay let me see Let's see who all in here. And thank you guys for showing up. I appreciate it. I see 14 people. I see Shelly. Hold on. Let me see. Let me turn it down. Let me see who's all in here. Okay, we got the Jersey Girl for Live. Hey, girl. Sugarfoot Sweets. Where you been at, Sugarfoot? And phenomenal personality. Hey, T. Rodriguez, Don Hill. Uh, let's see, Erica Goldsmith. Hey, Stephanie J. Uh, who else? I can't see right. Everything coming in fast. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you for that, Jersey girl. What, well, Michelle Myers is in here. Oh, wait, Sugarfoot says, I do nails now. You need to come through. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jersey Girl for Life. That is so sweet. I appreciate that. Am I sweating, y'all? Y'all just don't understand. Like, it was so hard getting this camera to work. And you guys know, this is the second time I'm taking you guys out. Hold on. Let me bring my nose. Ooh, it is hot up in here, too. Ooh. Having a rough start, guys. All right, let me show you what I'm eating. So, we are at Sizzlers today. How is everyone doing? We have that cheesy toast. I don't know. Do you guys, um, do any of you guys live by Sizzlers? I have the chicken here. And I have a salad. You guys see it? A salad. And some soup. All right. So I wanted to just come on and tell you guys hello because I know we have not been going live. I haven't, um, um, neither one of us has, like nobody's really been going live. Like we used to do those um, lives together, me and Jersey, but I've been very busy and she has too. When I said no sizzlers, I love sizzlers too. Y'all know I'm hungry. Mm. Mm. That bird is good. Oh, I got a Coke. That's my favorite drink of Coke. So, I know it's late. So, I don't want to keep you guys long. Stephanie J, not in my part. How are you doing, Stephanie J? 
Sounds everything. So this is this clam chowder soup. That stuff is good, y'all. I got some purple onions on my side. Hey, JD 2018. I got to give you a special shout out, girl. I want to say thank you so much for coming by all of my videos. Like, literally, guys, she has watched all of my videos. I was like, wow. And she's leaving nice comments. She's very sweet, too. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate it. So you guys do know that we have a couple of giveaways. I think Saturday we have another giveaway coming. One of the companies has sent me something, so I'm going to give um, something away. Julie, okay, you're welcome. My name is Julie. I'm, I'm not. I'm almost finished watching your video. You're so sweet. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. I'm great, boo, catching up on your videos. Oh, yeah, so I don't expect anyone, you know, you guys know I've been posting a lot because I've been having those collaborations and stuff. You know, I don't expect anybody to watch the videos right away. You know, you just come by whenever you can and support, you know, because life is hectic for everyone, you know? Let me start this out. Mm. Mm. Phenomenal. Did you get off work? tell hey fly blue are you and the other ladies going to start going live again soon well i know um i don't know where miss percival is i know miss percival wants to do a live i know my girl's been busy but i just wanted to come on who's ever in this live and see what you guys would like to see more of I know you're grateful and very appreciative of, every, of, of everything. I think you're someone I can be friends with. I feel the same about you. You're so sweet. You always leave a nice one of comments. She's in here. Who's in here? I don't see nobody. I'm going to call you Y'all know I'm taking y'all out. Y'all know we're going to eat over here too. We're going to eat. We're going to do what's in my bag we're gonna vlog we're gonna do it all miss possible where you at i don't see miss possible hmm. this chicken still stays the same mm, it's so good i'm halfway in the shower type <laughs> girl you in the shower don't drop your phone and get mess your phone up try blaming on me Miss Percival, where you at? Say something, girl. Thank you, Jersey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Guys, I end up trying that that Starbucks drink. That I don't know which one of my subscribers suggested it, but it was the oatmeal. What was it? The oatmeal apple crunch. I had it today. It was awesome. You smacking? Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all probably like, girl, why y'all sitting here eating? Y'all want some of this chicken? Look. Look at this chicken. Y'all want some? Hey, you know my honey money was like, when um, Hello Princess be like, um, Fabu like, mm-hmm, all that, like, making those noise. He be like, you be smacking too. I was like, I do. He was like, you be smacking and making noise. So how's everybody night? First off, has anybody been shopping lately? I want to know what you guys been buying. Let me see. No, the chicken looks crunchy and delicious. This chicken's good. The toast and everything is good. If you guys get a chance to go to a Sizzlers, I'm gonna stand up. And show you guys the um the bar i just get the salad bar sometimes i get the steak and the shrimp and stuff but i just was really um craving a salad and thank you guys for thumbing up this video i appreciate it oh my god oh 
Oh, JD2018 says she bought the Pochette Matisse and the matching um, Victorine wallet. Girl, you've been shopping, huh? Who is this? That's a little fun anytime. Hello, everyone. Hello. Sorry, boy. Y'all, I'm just hungry. Hmm. Shelly, what happened? I was trying to call you. We were supposed to go to the Lavender Fest at night. What happened? I didn't hear from you. But I want to see Don Hill said, I bought pre love some Gucci glasses and purple case. Floor crossbody, Troy Burge camera crossbody. Um, girl, you've been shopping. This is gonna be a quick live. We can chat about whatever you guys want to chat about. Um, I'm gonna show you guys. Hmm, let me not open my mouth. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Can you guess what's in that bag? And no phenomenal, no Jersey, no Miss Percival, uh, Julia B. I don't know if Julia B here. Hmm. We're just having this little, a little mukbang. How is school? Oh yeah, school is great. I'm just taking one class. I got caught up because remember when I when I went when, when I went on vacation. Hmm. I'm hungry, y'all. Okay. When I went on vacation, I had got behind. But um, I had to catch up. And then you guys know I left again. So that's why I wasn't really watching nobody or doing any videos. Because I had to um, um, get caught up on stuff. But it's going great. I should be finished well, in a year. You know, if I um, keep going. Anybody else taking any classes? What wrong? Oh, Shelly was sick. What happened? What did you say? Mmm. You got COVID, Shelly? How you doing? Yeah, you got COVID as of yesterday. Hmm. I hope you feel better, but I don't know, cause I try to call you, and I think your phone wasn't picking up or something. I don't know. Uh. So what is going on, y'all? This clam chowder soup is good. Mm. So, anybody got any suggestions of what you want to see on my channel? I am so grateful, guys. Thank you guys so much for getting me to 4,000 4, subscribers. That's amazing, right? Um, I feel like I have grown to have a pretty good family. Robin Cookie! Let's just say I want some chicken wings. What's up, Flabu? Hey, girl. Here, you want some? Open your mouth. Here. You want chicken? <laughs> um, how you doing, uh, Miss Robin? Oh, you guys need to go by Robin Cookie Channel. She did that hair removal. Um, what was it, Robin? What you do? You did a um, video where you used that um. Hair removal girl. I love that video. She's so real. You show all the chin hair, everything. Who are oh yeah. Girl, I had to move like two times, right? One time I was all the way in the back because nobody is back here, right? So I was like, I'm gonna come in the back. And um girl, why somebody sat back there and they both was talking, they was on lunch. And I was like, I was like, let me move. I moved to another table, and then the live was acting up on the iPhone anyway, so, girl, I had it rough. 
Y'all, Robin, do you live by scissors? Cause she always wants to wear eating. Mm. Let me see. I'm trying to keep up with these comments too. Shirley Shelton. Hey girl. Now Shirley Shelton, what you been buying? Cause I know you been shopping. Mm. Y'all, I'm about to take y'all Turn this camera around so y'all can see the salad bar and all the food they got over there. I'm gonna give me some banana pudding. Y'all want some dessert? I know Sugarfoot, she live in California, so. Um, I know she know about the scissors. What is it? Who has been to the Dollar Tree Lady? Did y'all see that vlog I had? Did the Dollar Tree didn't have nothing? Hmm. When you get a chance, I want to see another live with you and Jersey Girl and Julia B and whoever. Why don't you come on live? You want to come on live with us? <laughs> Some of you guys that don't do YouTube don't want to get on the live, huh? I know, you told me it was wet. Um, the Dollar Tree, it seemed like they either getting a... Oh, Sugarfoot said it's the scissors down the tree. Sugarfoot, what are you going to do nails? I'm going to have to come through because I got press on. I have loaded up at the Dollar Tree at 25 cent tree. <laughs> Dollar Tree is addictive. And then you I used to go back in the day and I always went and found stuff, but it seemed like this year recently they had like a lot of new stuff, like a lot of stuff. But like as soon as they raised the prices, that's when they had got all the cute stuff. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Y'all want some soup? I got soup. Mm-hmm. Did you forget to let me know? Girl, I had a hard time getting on here. Julia, I had to move like three times. Keely Ray, what? Hey, what you eating? Chicken. A salad. Some cheese toast. Look at you, Rodriguez. What's in the coach bag? Okay. Hmm. I have told you guys to guess what's in the coach bag. Y'all wanna guess? Y'all wanna know? I gotta stop buying coach though. I already do. You wanna look up? Your whole collection is going to be coach. I said coach is hot right now. I see some people guessing. Mm. I'm going to give me some of that banana pudding. Okay, I'm going to show y'all that salad bar. We're going to walk around and see what other food we're going to get. Mm. I was thinking about Who's ever in California? We should do the meet meet and greet in like at the Morongo. Get some rooms. Mm. Okay. I know you guys want to see what's in the bag. Hold the bag up again. Oh, hold the bag up again. A charm. Somebody said charm. She is teasing us. Hey, look. What do you think is in here? Let me tell y'all, it's two items in here. It's two items. It's two items. Dang, y'all won't even let me eat. We supposed to be celebrating. I'm supposed to be eating. I'm taking y'all out. Y'all rushing me. You probably have a bag inside of a bag inside of another bag. That's it. <laughs> Coin purse. 
Oh yeah, Miss Sugar Foot Rope. Mm -mm. Sorry guys. Miss Sugar Foot Rope. On a comment like, why you got, oh thank you T-Rex Drinkers. She was like, why you got a bag inside of a bag? I said, my honey bunny say that all the time. I was like, all the time. All the time. So, I am going to go live again later on sometime next week and we are going to talk about some of the luxury items some of the luxury items and the replicas that i have got uh where julia at i don't see julia <laughs> well, let me get this chicken real quick y'all okay mm. This is crunchy. I'm gonna eat the chicken and I'm gonna give y'all two more of sizzlers. Mm. I'm gonna have to take my stove with me. What's on your wish list? Robin, you know what? I do not have a wish list at all. Like, I just don't. If I see something, I go and just buy it. I, sw I swear, I don't ever, I don't think I ever had one. I tell you guys, I shot with my eyes. I'm oh, chicken good. Um, I shot with my eyes, so if I get on, um, please remember to turn on. Oh, if I ever get on, um, if I just ever get online to one of the department stores and um, I see anything that I like, I'll go and get it. But I could say, you know what I want to get me. Robin, I want to get me like a um, red wallet from Coach. Like, I want a red wallet from Coach. And I did see one today, but I went ahead and passed. So let me show you guys Sizzlers a little bit. I'm going to give me some banana pudding. I'm going to give me some more chicken, too. Y'all to eat all day. I ate the salad up. Look at the chicken bones. Ooh, I done told that chicken up, y'all. Look at that. Ain't no meat on them chicken. Oh, my God. I was just diagnosed with diabetes. And, girl, you were... Sorry me to death. I want some chicken. Oh, really hot. Um, is it due to weight related that you have diabetes? Your name went across so fast, and um, is it due to being like old weight or where is it? You probably just have to eat in moderation, you know, and like cut do a lot of cut back. Cause if it's due to like um, weight weight related. You can lose the weight and then like, you know, maintain it and you can still eat what you want. Oh shoot, look, I done spilled some of my shirt and stuff. Look at me being messy, just greedy. Okay, who is that? Is that girl? Oh, hello girl, what's up? She said, yep, and it sucks bad. Yeah, I understand how you feel. Oh, I have diabetes as well, so I, yes. You gotta get that weight off you, girl. Okay. Um, Oh, wait, let me show you guys the bag that I'm in today. Look, mm -hmm. I still have some of these for sale. I think I only have um, two left. This is my Gucci um, pouch here, my Gucci affiliate pouch. And I stay in this pouch a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. I love it. I know I haven't did a video on it, but I will soon, but... This is my go-to, and it's not because it's Gucci, but it's just big enough. It holds everything that I need. Um, and I'm just reading you guys' comments. Okay, I'm gonna let you talk. But yeah, I love how the charm looks on here. Really cute. Um, yeah, this is just my go-to, and it fits perfect under the arm, and I just walk and go. So I just took this. And I do have my Gucci um, sandals on. I've never showed those, but you know, I don't really show a lot of shoes. But I think I'm gonna do a style with me and show you guys how I style this um, Gucci pouch. Really cute. I don't have much in here. I'm using, um, wait, let me close up my little card case. Did y'all see my cards? See, I'm not prepared for this. So, um, I am using, um, this inspired LV card case that I got off of um, Ally Express. I wish I would have got all the colors. They are really cute, convenient. Um, 
Thank you. All right, okay. She brought me another plate. I'm about to throw down. I'm about to go give me some more chicken and some banana pudding. So yeah. And I really don't have much in here, just my fancy lip gloss. I just threw um, some stuff in here, but you guys have to be careful because this do stain. So yeah, I love it. I've been in this. I cannot complain. It was worth every um, penny. All right, so let's go. I'm gonna sit this right here. I'm gonna film in here. I'm gonna do my iPhone. Okay, so let's go take the tour of Sizzlers real quick, just in case somebody has never been, if they ever come to California or they ever wanna, you know. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Sizzlers and other places. Let me see how I turn the camera around. Let me see, okay. Oh, hey, what'd I do? I like I zoomed in. Oh yeah, hold on. I think I flipped right here. Y'all know I got a new phone. Bear with me. Why won't flip over? Okay, y'all see it? Ooh, look. Okay. This is right here. We're gonna go over to the food. Hopefully the phone don't act up. Look. They got uh crackers for the soup. They got tacos. They got all this food over here. This is stuff for the tacos. That's the chicken and stuff. And then these are all the soups here. Everything is um, clean, nice. Uh, this is what I'm about to come back again. I'm gonna get some banana pudding. There's the food right here. Uh, this is the potato salad and stuff. I'm gonna give me some potato salad and stuff with some macaroni salad. I'm over here tripping. I might have to cut this live short. I'm gonna have to show y'all this real quick. Cause I'm over here messing up my food. I don't think we have a scissors in room. I think I'm gonna grab the Samsung fold. Folding. What well, farm and get a second line? Yeah, girl, that's what I got. But uh, the fold is really nice. It's actually working better than the iPhone. Can you believe that? The iPhone that I got? Okay, that's a salad bar. So this is all the little food that we have. Okay. Let me see. Right. Let me go to my table. Okay. Let me turn y'all around. Hold on. What y'all think of the food? See, it's it's kind of some healthy stuff over there you can eat. Uh, it won't have no problems. Hold on. Let me turn the camera around. All right. Okay, here we go. I am actually loving my Samsung Fold. All right. You guys ready to see what I got? Okay, let me read some comments. Let me get the phone real quick. Uh, uh. I think I put it in my purse. My little clutch here. Yeah, okay. Wait a minute. Oh no, my little brush. I don't know how that happened. I'm gonna have to clean this out. My little um my little clutch been dirty. Okay. So what happened? Um let me see. Let me go to the video. I want to engage with you guys. This is why I like doing chats. You know, you guys already know why I like doing chats and going live. Okay, let's see. I lost weight and my A1C went down. You can definitely control with diet and exercise. Yes, for the diabetes, yes, diet and exercise is the key. Um, I bought one of the Gucci. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Don Hill. She bought one of the um, gold... GG um, charms for her Gucci toe. Oh yeah, that was you. You did leave a um, review on my shop. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay. Somebody said type two, not type one. Type one is different. Uh huh. 
The little card case is cute. Oh, thank you, Julia. Yes, it's cute. I love it. I move my hair. Hey, hey, lady. She said the 15. You think I got an only the 15? Mm, okay. I live in Tennessee. This is my first time hearing about the restaurant. I guess I need to explore more. Yes, get out and explore more, Shelly Shelton. You should. I think everybody can. Like I tell you guys all the time, you don't have to have like a major like career or income like that. If you save, it's all types of um, things you can do to um, um, have a good time. You know, take trips, you know. All right. Okay, so let me show you the first item. You guys ready? Should I tease you guys some more? Should I eat? Should I get some more food? <laughs> All right, all right, the first item is, now if I pull this out, you guys probably already know what the other item is. Um, thank you. Oh, that's okay, you don't have to whisper. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> oh, you know, oh, I, I don't have you on TV, girl. <laughs> all right, let me get the name of this. What is this? What color is this? I mean, okay, so look at this. Ooh, what y'all think? Okay. So let me tell y'all something. Let me hold it up. I am not going to be buying any more coach, okay? Not going to be buying any more coach. But I was like, I seen this, I love this color. So the color is what? Boysenberry. This is the card holder. Do you have a camera bag from Coach? Yes, I do, uh, Kelly. I have the um, what was it from the summer signature? The pink. The pink lemonade, I do believe, yeah. That's what it's called. So, yeah, so look at that beautiful purple. You guys know I love purple, but this is kind of like deep, like a plum. Oh, I got something on it. Like a plum. Probably my food. A little dirty hands. So, it, it has a slot right here. Card slot here. One, two. And then you have that slot in the middle. I love the color, too. And in the back, you have one um two as well but look the heat stamp you can barely see it i wish it had like the plate you know like the gold well not gold plate because it's not gold um well yeah i guess it's the gold plate right but yeah it's just the heat stamp can you guys see it you can't really tell and i feel like since you can't really see it they should have just took that off like they should have just had nothing all right so you guys should already know what is next that's going to come out of this bag. Like I said, it's only two items. Only two items. <laughs> Thank you guys. I see you guys saying so cute. Isn't this boysenberry really pretty? It's like a really pretty um, purple. I like it. Um. All right. So you guys ready for the last item? Let's see. Can you guys guess? I'm Purse Happy 2. Hi, you guys should go by her channel. She has a good channel, I'm Purse Happy 2. Thank you so much for always coming by and leaving nice, wonderful comments. You're very sweet. I do appreciate it. I see most of your videos. I do have to come by and comment, but thank you so much. I appreciate you, girl. Um, that would have been better for them to add the metal instead of the stamp. Yeah, Julia, I was like, I didn't like it. All right, y'all gonna guess or what? Nobody even guessed. I think one person got it right in the group chat. I mean, in a little live chat. Okay. Let me get her ready. Let me get her ready. Here she is. I'm, I'm like, I'm so surprised. Y'all ain't guessing. Look at her. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, okay, I gotta stop. I am getting like so addicted to these mini gallery totes like look at this y'all see that and didn't i tell y'all if y'all been watching me i was like if they ever do the khaki signature i was like yes t rogers you got it i was like i have to get it and then even with the purple this is like a really nice purple but you know what on the website let me tell you something so on the website it was coming up with the boysenberry with the signature seeds. Like, it was all purple. Like how the Coach um, purple bag was, the purple seed tote. 
that's how this was looking with the boys and berry, like with the seeds and everything. So, you know what? <laughs> I know, right? And guess what? You guys know I don't buy multiple of like bags because there's so many bags to buy. So, I just hate to just, you know, buy like four or five of them. But I think this is the third <laughs> mini um, gallery. So, I was like, oh my goodness. When I seen this. I was like, mm. and Coach, you have to be careful because Coach be playing with their colors and their styles on the website. Why do you think, and look, the inside is even the boys and berry. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it. Here, let me see if I open up the main part. So, let's see. Let's see, yes. Can you guys see it? No, you guys not going to be able to see it. Let me see. Let me see if I bring it close. But it's the same color. I love that style. Still need to get one. So I know I normally wait. I do wait for a sale. But um, this one was $129, I believe. So I was just like, I really wanted it. And guess what? I'm going to move into her. And I might upload a What's in My Bag tomorrow. So yeah. I went shopping today. I took myself out. I got these two right here. And they also had the, um, hey, um, Curly, what? Love bags is went too fast. Hey, girl. She has a channel too, guys. Go check her out. So I do, um, I do, what did I want to say? Oh, they had a, the zip, what is it, the zip card case? in all the boysenberry but i did want to just go with the signature because i just like the color with the uh signature it's really cute fossil rags are kind of cute i got one recently oh you did fossil rags are really good this is good quality too so yeah let me guys know let me know if you guys would like to see a um what's in my bag you want me to upload it tomorrow my dream bag is the teddy blake Oh, you know what? Teddy Blake got me, gave me a bag, and I want to tell you guys something. Like, for the most part, you know, I'll get the items, and um, I'll do the review. I get what I like, and I'm always, you know, being honest, but that Teddy Blake bag is made really well. I know his prices is kind of up there, but I never had a Teddy Blake bag, never even thought of it, but um, I would have never even bought one, like, to be honest. I'm going to just be honest, but now that i have had the chance to see one and actually have one it's good quality like i feel like if you want good quality you can spend the money um on the teddy blake bag like it's really nice and i have not yet gotten that bag either so what do you guys um what video do you guys want to see next you guys can ask me some questions what they call it q a or whatever we can get through that really quick we're 38 minutes in so let me know what you guys want to talk about and then i will see you guys on the next live remember next week i don't know if i'm gonna do it on a saturday trails treasure lac hey girl i don't know if um i'm gonna do it on well, I'm going to do it next week, the luxury and uh, replicana talk. Like, we could talk about that. I could show you guys the bags up close and personal. Teddy Blake bags are beautiful. One day I'll get one. Yeah, you should. Another thing is, I know we keep going back to coach and we do like certain brands, but I have a lot of bags from different, you know, companies. Like, I even get beauty supply bags, Walmart bags, but I feel like it's a lot of bad companies. And you should, you know, go out and find them and go to the actual store to see them, fill them if you can. You know, because there's so many bags, you really don't have to buy multiple of the same style, you know, or from the same company. Oh, hey, lady, you sick? Why are everybody getting sick? What, you got COVID too? How about the mystery bags? What happened? What mystery bags? Hold on. Somebody said something about some mystery bags. Um, how about the mystery bags? 
buys on Dooney and Burke. Have you bought one? No. What's that? I didn't hear about that. You know what? I had did my leisure shopper tote. What is it? it was the novelty? The well, not novelty. Novelty. Um, what was it? Greta. In the brown tomorrow with all the little stars and stuff on it. I've actually have not touched a Dooney in probably almost seven to eight months. So that's why I'm like, let me start to rotate my bags correctly because sometimes you can just get caught up in just going to one brand, going to one um, brand and just wearing it, wearing it, and then you do forget about your other brands, your other bags in your collection, you know? So I am um, going to start showing more bags. I do know that something other than COVID and monkeypox is going around. I was sick and a lot of kids at the school are coughing or whatever. Cause just, you know what, after I came back from my cruise, I did catch something, but it wasn't COVID because I went to the doctor. And um, I was kind of like a little sickish. So maybe it is something going around like a um, sinus infection or something. Like I had pressure in my head and um, I just had to lay down for a few days. Like I couldn't really get up. Girl, you out the shower. JD 2018, she was so sweet. I, you know what? I've never had anybody come to my channel and binge watch like she did. Never. I was like, that is just, she's just too sweet. And I appreciate that because, you know, a lot of us work hard to do those videos. It's not easy doing them videos. And then I'm kicking them out because I have so much stuff to show you. And also I had those collaborations. And I'm telling you guys, we have another collaboration coming up. I think I'm going to release that on Saturday or maybe Sunday, maybe Saturday. And um, because it's going to be a giveaway as well. Oh, the Dooney Mystery Sales. Um, no, I have, you know, I haven't even been on a Dooney. Um, I haven't been on a Dooney website or the I Love Dooney. I haven't been on none of that. And you know what? I need to get two more SLGs from Dooney so I could complete um another bag because you guys know i like to match my um accessories with my bags i'm overdue for the dollar tree <laughs> robin and um curly did you guys get anything from dooney what's everybody's favorite um brand right now i know mine has been coach i was like I, I am really staying out of um coach like i'm i'm dead serious I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna be buying no more. Like that gallery, um, the mini gallery is like my last little bag. So does anybody have any questions? Let me see. And thank you guys so much for uh coming by. It's cute but it's way too small. I have one, but it's also Don Hill. You took the um the mini gallery back. Let me tell you something about the mini gallery. I'm gonna show you guys again. I just I think I'm obsessed with it because I love this. Look, like I don't know if it's this. And then also when I took it on the cruise with me, I took the brown black signature with me, and it was amazing. Like it holds just enough. Like you can pack this and just have everything you need and it just works for me so that's why i was like when i see them i'm gonna get them and i wanted to get the plaid one but i was like you know what i'm gonna wait because they i'm thinking if they keep this coming they will do a buffalo plaid in the mini gallery tote and i am getting it my favorite brand is dooney but hooked on mark jacobs the tote but to get red to replace a bag. I'll get rid of replacing that from QVC. Oh, what bag you about to get rid of? I hope I read that right because it's going. Let me look on the uh, phone. I love your Dooney collection flowers. Pretty really? You know what? I don't have a lot of Dooney. Like I know some of the ladies have a lot of Dooney. I can actually, you know what? Somebody asked me, was that you, John Hill? Somebody asked me to do my whole Dooney and Burke collection, and I'm thinking about doing that because I don't have much bags. I can show you guys all the SLGs and the um, the bags because I don't have many. Um, I don't. So I might do that. Yeah, 
Let me know if you guys want to see that. I bought the keychain mini gallery bag. So cute, yeah. No, it wasn't me. Oh, okay. I thought it was somebody asked that. I thought it was you. I'm sorry. The olive from QVC, it was red. So replacing it with the MJ. Mike or Mike, Mark Jacobs tote, huh? the red tote. Okay. Yeah, so that's what you do. I'm first happy to like, you want to buy a bag. So you get rid of a bag and replace a bag. I'm having a hard time with that. Um, I did used to like let bags go, like give them away, sell them and things like that. But then you look back, you're like, oh, I needed that bag for this. I should have never sold that. So I'm having a hard time with that because I have every bag that you see, all the videos that I have put out from the time I started YouTube, I still have all those bags. So um, I struggle with that, you know. So is that what you do? Because I was like, I just can't let go. Like, I love Coach, but I'm trying more brands. Okay, Troll Treasures, yeah. It's good to try different brands. Do a video and sell them. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. It's just hard to um, let the, the bags go, you know? I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I just can't. I was like, and it seems like every time you sell it, you'll either have an outfit or you'll either be going somewhere and you'll be like, damn, I could have used that bag. That's what I said. What she said, the thread stitching come apart. That's why I sent it back. What thread stitching come apart? Hold on, let me look. Somebody bag tearing up already? Who's in the Mark Jacobs bags? I heard that they be tearing up. Is that them? What she said? What happened? Do you buy Kate Spade? Okay, Robin Cookie asks, do I buy Kate Spade? Um, I used to. I used to have a couple of Kate Spade um, handbags. But you know what I've seen um, lately, uh, Robin Cookie? She has a bucket bag that I really like that I'm thinking about getting. Because I do like bucket bags, drawstring bags, you know. I'm thinking about that. But, yeah, I used to have Kate Spade. But you know what? She is a little pricey too. And I do love K Spade. Her SOGs are like $80, like for one. It's like it don't go on sale. Like I remember I wanted to get like, what was it that clear pouch or something? She wanted like 134. And I think I was with Shelly. When we went to the outlet and went shopping. She wanted like a um a hundred and what? Twenty or something for that um clear thing. I was like, nah. I get okay. Don Hill says I do get rid of bags if I buy bag, but I've been updating my collection and I'm slowing down on buying. I'm multitasking, multitasking, trying to keep up while my anyway sleeping. Um, phenomenal personality. I agree. You regarding Dooney? What happened with Dooney? Yeah, she pricey. No, mine's was the Dooney and Burke a la Florentine Satchel from QVC. Bad choice. Had it two weeks and the handle stitching came apart. It was a lemon. What? And you know, most of the time, Dooney bags, you really get those and they don't tear up like that. But I guess a lot of things is changing, you know? Do you like your Kirk Geiger? Oh, yes. I love my Kirk Geiger. I love both of them. The black one, and I got the rainbow one, and then I got the the drip one. The I mean the drench, right? Drench, the purple. Yep, I got that. And what else? I got the SLGs, the wallets. Yeah, I still have all my Kurt Geigers. Um, I also have a wristlet from Kurt Geiger. I even got Kurt Geiger sandals and black girl. I got a bag. Yeah, I agree. Changing. I want one. Oh, you want a Kurt Geiger? Yeah. But look, if you want the XXL, those are really large bags. So if you want a smaller bag, you might need to get go with the medium. But the XXLs are really huge. But I love them. They remind you of the Chanel um, XXL. LA Dancer, New Jersey, right? Hey, boo. Hey, girl. Um... Uh, 
yeah the medium yeah the medium if you don't want a big bag get the medium the medium should work out great for you i have have you tried portland leathers no you know what with the portland leathers i found a store on amazon that got some of those bags like that i think the bag is a hundred dollars i'm gonna have to show that bag because i used to carry it to work somebody said well she said i'm surprised the thread was slipping on a dooney the red was so beautiful yeah i'm pretty happy too got a uh, got a nice collection she has a really nice bag collection oh especially my ears my ears was itching guys okay i'm going to europe next month we're gonna see they be cheaper yeah oh I wonder if you could take the train to London and go over there and buy the actual Kirk Geiger bag from London. Because that's where my bag actually came from. The rainbow one, it came from London. I was like, wow. She, Yes, I have a tail for a bag. Um, I have it in that blue. What is it? Cold block blue or something like that. I can't remember. Y'all know I got a lot of bags. Yes, enjoy. Girl, if you go over to Louis, see how, how much the price difference is. I'm not really looking for nothing, but you know what? I want to give me a wallet. I think I'm going to give me a wallet. My birthday coming up in what? 28 days? Mm. Oh, Italy and Paris. I'm going to London. Yeah, so that is that where you're going to buy your Kurt Geiger in London? She has a very nice channel, too. Y'all should go and watch it and subscribe. Yes, yeah, she do. She's sweet. I like uh, her channel. Yes. Just some drink. You have everything okay, my sweet? Yes, everything's fine. Thank you. Um, phenomenal. When are you gonna do a video? And what bag you in? Cause I know you went downtown to the office today. Let me see. They are cheaper. My speedy was six eighty. When did you buy your speedy though? How long ago was that? How long ago um, did you buy your uh, speedy? I I want to get something from the uh, cognac collection from Louis Vuitton. That's really nice. I'm just scared of um, color transfers. I worked twelve hours today and still have had dinner. You made me want to eat everything. Mm-hmm. Edible in the house. That's Joe's. I will okay. Nita, Joe's play therapy. Hi fly boo. Love your nails. I love my Kirk Geiger too. Dooney and Burke is my favorite one. Of of I my case bag came from Ross and it was a great find. What kind of case bag bag did you find at Ross? Oh, in Paris 2018? Really? It was only 680. Now you gotta go back over there and price it again and see how much how much it jumped up. Cause you know they had them price increases like every other day. Are oh, you in your um our coach cast? Yeah. I'm looking for the nice red bag for the holidays. Yeah, I got some red. I think I got um two red bags. I got a green bag. I found a beautiful green bag at Target. I think I showed you guys that. So we will be doing more chats, me out eating, cause you guys know I'll be out. I'll be out, okay? I let me tell you something. I why well, I don't vlog in the house, okay? When I get home, I take off my wig, my bra. I am not putting on clothes and getting in front of the camera around my house. I just don't want to do it. Like when I end this live, I drive home. I'm about to take these clothes off take me a shower and get in the bed okay i bought my first speedy 35 for 970 i believe in 2016 for getting my bachelor's degree oh congrats are you working on your degree oh thank you seven i'm saying i'm just being honest i'm not and you know what somebody asked me a question and i was like you know what I just coast. I just 
I just chill on YouTube, you know? Hey, boo, I love your haul. Sending love from South Bend, India. Oh, hey. Case made uh, an oversized South Oh, okay. You only pay 89 It went away. You only pay 89 no, I'm just saying, so somebody asked me a question like, oh, now that you got um, 4,000 subscribers, like, um, uh, kind of, I work with the public, degree in public administration. Oh, okay, so good. She don't ask, like, you know, emails. Oh, we get emails behind. A lot of people don't leave the comments on under under the videos. So we get, I get a lot of emails sometimes, and I read them. And the lady was like, um, you know, I don't say no names because it, it's not even that serious. But um, she was just saying, now that you have 4,000 subscribers, will you change? I'm like, why would I change? Like, I'm just doing the same thing I always do. Um, so I just found that weird that she would think I would change. And I'm just, I'm just loving what I do here on YouTube. I just chill. I relax. I am just, it's not a sprint. I'm, you know, I'm not rushing, racing. Um, I don't think you guys seen who... Oh, thank you, Danielle. You guys see who I am for the longest. Some of you guys have been following me since day one. The only thing you can say is you see more of me now than I've ever um, sh showed myself, you know? So I was like, I don't know why people would think that. Some people do change. Like, when they get more subscribers, they get big-headed. They let the people in the comments gas them up or whatever. But I don't do that because I was like, we all queens. Like, we all just showing what's in my bags. Ain't nobody better than the next, you know? So I just found that strange and I was like, that's not a lot of subscribers to, you know, even feel feel that way or change up. And even if I ever do have um, over 100,000 subscribers or whatever the case may be, you guys are still going to be seeing me. I'm going to be doing exactly what I'm doing now. <laughs> I don't have like split personalities or none of that stuff. Like what you see is what you get. I'm a true Scorpio. I'm going to just be honest with you and, and then that's it. You know, I don't have time for that. So I was like, that was weird, you know. And I was like, I was just gonna discuss that too. I was like, nah, I, I don't, I'm just who I am. I'm never gonna get on this camera and fake my voice. Um, none of that, you know, reading from no piece of paper, like none of that. I'm just gonna be me and, and that's it. You guys are gonna get some vlogs, me going out, me doing what I'm doing. I'll be with my family most of the time. Um, I'm supposed to be going to um, family house for Thanksgiving, so I don't know if I'll vlog that. I don't know. So, you know, a lot of people do change. Like, a lot of people do change when they get more subscribers. I have seen it before. I've seen people use people to get to where they need to get to. So, you know, I mean, I don't know. I read the comments. I answer everyone. I try to be, you know, positive. And I don't have a lot of, like, woe is me stories and i don't get on here with sad stuff or you know all of that because we see that in the news we hear about sad stuff all the time you guys know my channel is just me i'm just showing you me and most of the time i'm all right because some people get on here and fake a whole personality <laughs> oh yeah you know and i'm grateful for all the friend mail and the love or whatever and Thank you, Robin, congrats on 4K, your videos and personality. You are fun and beautiful. Thank you. So are you. I like Robin Cookie. She be doing her own thing. I know she be out eating and stuff. Her food be looking good. But, yeah, and I was like, you know, it's no rush. It's no race. You don't have to be in uh, competition with nobody. You don't have to be doing none of that. Like, just do your thing, you know. You don't have to do any anything like that. Who's that, Shirley Jones? Hey. Yeah, so I don't know why would she ask that, but, you know, um, she's not another YouTuber or anything, but. Oh, so cool. I love how you be. Yeah, I just be me. I just tell that to anybody. Just be you, you know? And I do love handbags. I love all handbags. I do not discriminate. I just don't. It says, what you see on my channel is me. The kitty voice. And all plus I don't edit either okay I used to not edit either like that and I still really don't edit a lot um, I'm purse happy too and that's the thing you don't have to um, get on here and make it seem like your life is just grand because you know everybody having problems you know so um, you don't have to be on here faking a phone and 
just being, you know, crazy and stuff like that. Like, just trying to rat race with others. Like, just chill out. Chill out and be you. That's why I like Robin Chow, too. I like a whole lot of people chowing. Like, just, you're just doing you. Like, every time you turn on camera, just be you. That's all you got to do. And then, can nobody ever steal your joy? I always say that. Can nobody ever steal your joy? I love all handbags, too. I'm versatile. Yes, me, too. And don't let nobody steal your joy, you know? Like, people going to turn against you, say all kinds of stuff about you. You know, but, you know, you just got to ignore that stuff. Because I don't play, okay? <laughs> if y'all really know me outside of YouTube, I don't play. I just get rid of people. I just don't have time for that. I am actually an adult woman, you know? I use it. You are hilarious when you knock the stuff over in one of your recent videos. Who? Who knocked that stuff over? Oh. Oh, I'm person. She did. <laughs> What you are only comp competition should what did you say should be yourself compete to be better than you were yesterday last week or last year never with another individual yeah that's true everyone like every time you get up you should you know try to do better for yourself you know and just don't listen to the the BS you know. I enjoy all types of handbags from expensive to inexpensive. Yes, I do too. You say a lot. We have some similar tastes. Ballet dancer. Yeah, but um, yeah, no competition, no competing, whatever. I'm going to do me. I'm going to put my videos up whether somebody watch them or not. And then trust me, somebody always going to watch. Somebody going to watch, okay? So just put it up there and do you. And you sometimes you really have to have a life outside of YouTube. And when I mean when she said that I was just like this is for the for the YouTube creators too. What did you say? And practice what you preach, yeah. Just use your two ears, let it come in one ear out the other, yeah. Um what I wanna say if you are creating YouTube, like I see if people would change, I'm like, um, ask yourself have you changed for the better or have you changed for the worse? Because YouTube can do that to you too. Like, ask yourself, when you first started YouTube, are you that same person that you used to, you know? Like, you can see a lot of difference. And you are supposed to grow. Yeah, I'm not saying you're not supposed to grow, you're not supposed to change, you know. Your handbag collection do change. You know, a lot of stuff in life changes, but you know. I can look back and say, I've always just been me. Like, I, every video, the only thing I say, you see is more of me. Like, I have not changed. I have not, you know, did none of that. I'm just always going to be me. And I love positivity. I love to be on here talking with you guys, doing chats. You know, we could be on here for like three hours chopping it up. Like, you know, we done did it so many times. You're also very supportive of other women, Chris. Yes, you know what? I do support other women. I do love to support other women. I do love to give women other women shout out. And I don't do that for you to shout me out. And I don't do that for um, for to get people to come over to my channel. Like, I actually love people and love people's channels. Like, when I, if I'm watching you, I do. I just love your channel. Like, because if I didn't like it, I wouldn't be watching it. And I don't like mess. So, if I'm not watching you, that I just don't, I don't, don't deal with the mess. So, that's just me. And I don't care. Um, yeah, so if I see a good video, of course I'm going to shout it out, you know. And, um, yeah, that's just it. I was just blown away. I said, people we have, I don't know what they be thinking. And then, you know, it's kind of hard, hard to really tell about another YouTuber right, or me. Because you guys just only see what I'm doing, you know. Um, what she said, I've changed with being shy slash scared to do a video in front of millions of people. But watching you all videos have helped me to be more at ease. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? I think I messaged you before. Yo, comments, I'm purse happy too. You need to put, um, not made for kids so we can comment because sometimes i think you put made for kids and we can't comment on your videos so sometimes when i do come by and i don't leave a comment that's because you be having the comments off so you got to go to the youtube studio app and you know fix that mm -hmm. yeah 
I am, you know. Yeah, so go by I'm Purse, um, happy too. She has a nice channel. Yeah, I believe, like, I believe if you, if, I'm telling you, if you be just always angry, always got something to say, or always that, you you age fast. I'm sorry, you do. You just age. You just a grumpy old woman or man. Like, you just age kind of, you know, fast doing all that, always mad and angry and tripping out on others and stuff. Yeah. So I do have some friend mail I need to get out. I gotta get Robin Cookie. I got you something, and um, I think I may need your um, address to, um, again, cause I don't really keep people addresses. I shred them. Uh, what she say? I like I like I'm purse happy too. Channel because you're so real. You don't a teaching what a teacher see or look for are be low key dragging in front like you all of that y'all crazy it says you're all right so it's what tell me that too it was dumb done on purpose forgive me oh no nah, oh yeah but you you fix it now you know don't um put not made for kids so we can leave a comment because we be watching and you know, I know there's people love the comments. I do too, because I want to let you know that I watch and I want to let you know that I was here. <laughs> yeah. Do an unboxing or what? JD, do an unboxing of what? On what? I don't know. What she want me to do an unboxing of? I learned a lot from you, your creativity. What you say? And how decorate a purse, you do things with pom-poms and luggage tags that I never thought to do. <laughs> I'm always, you know what? That room, I will always have somewhere to play with my little bags and I just love to play with them. I can be in there for hours just playing with them, playing with them. I just love to play with handbags. I don't know what it is. Ever since I was a little girl, and I not gotta have something dangling. Like just something on it, not all the time. Um, like how I have on this pouch, like I just gotta have, you know, I don't know, I just gotta have something. But I'll probably grow out of it, I probably won't, but I just gotta have something. I just have to have something. Yeah, so, um, also I finally found the butt first. Oh, you know what, I was gonna ask you that, cause if you didn't, I my store had um, received more. But I'm glad you found it. I know you work hard and your personality is awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. And I am really happy the way that I have grown because I have some relationships here, not with other YouTubers, but with just the, you know, the regular subscribers. Like I've actually talked to them on the phone. I have um, made good relationships. And that is why I just coast, I just love, just, just sit back and chill on my channel. And I just grow if I do, if I don't, but I am just enjoying it, you know. I'm not any in a rush, you know. And I say this all the time, I've never, I don't want to be queen of YouTube. Like, <laughs> I just don't, like, I just do me, like, a lot of people hungry for it, they want to be queen. They want to do anything to get it, you know. And I was watching this one lady, and she was like, I didn't have to degrade anybody. I didn't have to, um, you know, put ill on anybody's name or whatever. She got, like, a lot of subscribers. And I was like, yeah. So it's just good to just chill out, you know? Just chill out. Like, right now, we at Sizzlers. We eating. Did y'all like our food? Are y'all full? <laughs> I'll give me some banana pudding. Um... Yeah, so is there any more questions? She said, okay, I found the book first coffee tag too. The cup is white with a pink lid. Oh, okay. What cup? That's why I love you and your channel. So cool, real and down today. Thank you. And I met Shelly. Shelly is sweet. And I was like, how you get sick? Because I was looking for it. She was going to use her GoPro, I believe. And I was going to use my um, one of my phones. And we were going to film for you guys, us at the... Um, Lavender uh, Festival at night. I was like, that would have been so awesome. Is this still going on? It's over with now, huh? Because the pumpkin passion stuff is there, right? Scissors sounds good. We don't have one anymore here in case. 
Yeah. I wonder why a lot of stuff is closing. I was um, on one of my videos. One of my subscribers was like, they closed the coach down um, in her town. I'm like, coach? She said, yes, the coach outlet is closed. I said, mm. Oh, y'all want to see the banana pudding? Yeah, I'm going to leave y'all right here because sure, I'm about to eat the banana pudding. And I guess I eat the banana pudding and then we'll just answer some more questions. And then I don't want to hold you guys up. You guys let me know if you're enjoying this live. I see it's 30 people in here. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Commenting. So don't go anywhere. Don't you click off because I'm about to go give me some. Um, hold on, let me get my stuff. Let me put my stuff in. I ain't saying I'm right still, but hold on. Let me put my phone up in here. So I can see this banana pudding. And then let me put my um my bag up. I got it all out. I should have my son come with me. Guys, I cut Mason's hair. Mason has no hair anymore. Um, I'm going to probably grow it all out, but I think I'm gonna let that um happen in the summertime. His dad is going to fade him up, and I guess you guys will see him on another vlog. <laughs> I'm thinking about going somewhere. Uh what? I say that because I have some banana pudding cheesecake bomb. Mm. Girl, I have some banana pudding cheesecake. It's called Harriet's. If you guys live in Los Angeles, make sure you stop by Harriet's Cheesecake. They got sweet potato cheesecake, banana pudding cheesecake. They got lemon cheesecake, blue. It is just, ooh, that cheesecake. You're going to eat it. You're going to gain 10 pounds, but it's worth that 10 pounds. Oh, he still has some. Thank you, Robin. Okay, I'll be right back. Y'all ain't going to work. Yeah, one of the cats. Y'all still there? Y'all talking to y'all soon? Y'all talking in the chat amongst each other. Okay, let me see. Look, I was too busy. What happened? Okay, good night. Um I was um I waited too long and somebody got all the cookies off the um Oh yeah, Miss Percival got a good channel. Look, that didn't took all the cookies. It's just the um, pudding in there. They'll go to banana. Mm. My family be laughing at me. They be like, girl, you be going live eating in front of that camera. And they be like, you don't be afraid of somebody looking at you. I'm like, I mean like, I tell anybody, you gotta get that out your head. People gonna look regardless. Whether you on the phone or not. Whether you, um, cause somebody was like, they don't like um, vlogging. Because, hmm. Ooh, that's crap salad curry sandwiches. Why? The cookies is the best um, part. Who left? Well, I thought Robin was leaving. They done took all the cookies out. I'm going to sit here and wait for some more cookies. You know, I'm about to ask them for some cookies. Um, they were like, well, I don't like to vlog because we family over here. Yes, we are. And I was saying that, yes, we are all family. Like, once you create a channel and you grow up naturally and stuff like that, you do form a family. I feel like we family. That's why I'm eating. You know what? I've never been ashamed to do something to try something, um, just, you know, just to live, you know, if you sit up there and be scared about everything, how you gonna live? You, Sam, so you a YouTube creator, right? And you wanna vlog, but you're not gonna vlog because you scared that somebody in the store looking at you. They be looking at you. Okay, what they gonna do, beat you up or something? I don't get that. 
I'm gonna be scared. Jersey blow all the time. I don't know. And most of the time, the reason why I don't get on camera is because I be told it. And you guys know, I don't have to put makeup on to get on camera. I'll show myself a few times without makeup. When I say I be looking toe up, um, oh, is that Anastasia Favorites? Oh, she got nice shine too. Oh, she had a, did a video where she had these clothes from Amazon or something. Oh, she was looking fire. Every, she had the clothes to match the bag. I said, oh, she doing it. I think she had the shoes too. And I just went by her video the other day where she did her, um, what did she do? What was in the other day? I was trying to catch up. She had did her Dooney and Burke crossbody bags or something, right? Yeah. That was a good video, girl. I liked it. You got a nice collection. Very nice collection. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? See, we got off track. What was we talking about, y'all? Mmm. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. About, um, uh, about her not vlogging so the jersey girl can answer that because she vlogs more than anybody in the birth community so she could probably touch on that right now she's still in here um i feel like um just go for it like i feel like people stare all the time that's never gonna stop but yeah Oh, I was saying too. Most of the time, my hair be all over the place. You welcome. My hair be all over the place. I don't be having no clothes on. Y'all know the first thing when you come in the door, you take that wig, that bra off, girl. You don't want nothing on you. And I don't want to be on no. Now, you know, I done seen, like, let me tell you something. I'll be watching people too. I'll be seeing people do a video with no bra on. <laughs> How you going here with no bra trying to uh, do a video? Titties just swinging. Uh, mm -mm. I got clicked right off. I want to see nobody titty swinging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, I think it's a troll here. Somebody said go to bed. Who is that, y'all? Um, yeah, I was like, I don't, um, I don't get that. Is you going to say something on that vlog in Jersey? Um, yeah, but, um, yeah, and then I mean, like, as a woman growing up, and let me tell you something, because you see women with nails and hair, you, anybody can be natural, we understand that, my mom always said, give them something to watch or see, <laughs> okay, but being a woman is like, um, I was taught, you just always look presentable. Like, that don't mean you have makeup on or your nails are fresh or whatever. As long as you, you know, clean your body and your hair looks okay, you comb your hair, you know, you don't have to have fake nails on or none of that. Um, just always, because you're on the camera and you are, you know, thousands of people, millions of people probably see a video. You never know. You might do a video and it hits a million views. Like, and you on there with no bra. I done see people come on with no teeth, really. They, one of their teeth missing. But I ain't trying to talk about nobody, but go to the dentist. And see if they can give you a tooth. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get on here like that. Hair all messed up. And the first thing people say, I want to be, I want to be natural. Yeah, but y'all don't mean get on here and don't comb your hair. But, you know. I ain't saying, I ain't trying to talk about nobody. They, they be real comfy. Yeah. Um, I swear, okay. Y'all know I be watching a lot of people, right? So I ran across this young chick. I'm gonna see if I can link the video, right? She was doing a what's in my, no, she was showing the Daisy Rose dupe or something. Something, it was like, it was like two weeks ago. Um, um, I'm gonna read that in a minute, but she was just showing the bag, unboxing. I think it was a um, a replicana. 
So she was doing all that real pretty girl, whatever. Why she farted? And then was like, ha! And then that was it. It ended the video like that. Like, girl, that's just nasty. I was like, mm-mm. You know you could have edited that out. Don't know why I want to hear that. But some people think that shit cute. I ain't doing that. Let me see what uh, Trey said. Oh, you making me want something sweet now? Girl, I have a sweet tooth. I cannot, like, if I have to have a meal, I have to have something sweet after. I just have to. I get that from my father. Um, What did Jersey go? She said something about vlogging. Girl, these comments be moving fast. Okay, just try to avoid direct filming people faces. I know like I just did have the people eat what I just walked up and showed you that tour. But they ain't gonna be in there. Um face license plates or anything identifying objects in film like no one's watching. Okay. The novel crown, thank you for encouragement. I'm new to the community but get self-conscious after breast cancer and going through chemo, lost all my hair and everything, but I'm going to try. Well, you got wigs. You can put a wig on. I'm sorry to hear that. But you know what the great thing about it is? Look at the, the decade that you're living in. There's wigs. We have makeup, you know, it's all things you can use to make yourself look uh, better, you know? If you're dealing with the chemo and all of that, like, you don't have to stay bald, you know? No one even has to know that you're going through chemo or whatever. You just get you a nice wig. Now, some people, when it comes to wigs, it's kind of hard to get a good wig. Some of them synthetic wigs, some people slap them on. And they just look a hot mess, you know. And when you're wig shopping, you actually should go into the beauty supply or a wig store. Go in there, try some on. Try not to order the the wigs, you know, because I'm telling you, when if you're a first time wig buyer, you have to really go in, cause some wigs just don't look cute on you. They won't. Because I've had wigs that are like, ah, oh, nah, I look like an old lady. Ain't nothing wrong with looking like an old lady, but I'm not there yet. So I don't want to look like that. So, and some of them can make you look um, a little kiddish too at that. So it's just really hard to get those, um, to get those um, perfect wigs. But now I've noticed that they have wigs. If you go to the beauty supply, they already have the bun up, the part like this one. They already um, styled and ready for you to just pop on your hair. You just cut the lace, do a little baby hair, and um, pop it on. And sometimes you don't have to do the baby hair. And some of them wigs be looking tragic on people. I'm like, mm mm. But see, that's when you need a good friend. Your good friend should tell you that your wig is toe down. Like, why you let your, oh, excuse me, why you let your friend go outside? Her wig look like crap on her head. Look like a whole bird nest. I just see people look like a whole bird nest. Like the birds just live there with their kids. With their other little birdies. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. But um, don't be self conscious about that. I feel like, and um, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. All this month. I know it's hard. Chemo ain't no joke. And that radiation burns your skin and everything. I know. Hang in there. When I lost my hair with breast cancer, I really enjoyed being bald. What do you think? I really, when I was wearing a I really enjoyed being bald. It was liberated. I wore turbans. Oh, yeah, those cute. Oh, yeah, hair wraps. Yes. Those African hair wraps, too. If you're an African American woman, those hair wraps is really nice. Mm hmm. With some little hoop earrings and stuff. They don't have to be as big as mine. But let me tell you something. Hair is hair. You know, a lot of African-American women is obsessed with hair. 
Like, I really told my family that I want to cut my hair. You guys know my hair is just as long as this uh, wig. And a lot of, not saying my, like, not saying my family is just like, oh, we just have hair. But I've noticed that a lot of black women is like obsessed with hair. Hair will always grow back. You could cut your hair. If you're tired of combing your hair and it's so long, it's getting exhausted. Are you going through chemo and all of that? Like, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Hair is hair. Hair will grow back. And if it don't grow back, that's why they got the wigs. But I'm just saying, a lot of people is obsessed with hair. Like, my honey money does not want me to cut my hair. I want to cut my hair, not bald, but I wanted to cut it low like a boy cut. And he's like, I told you I'm not sleeping with Earl. But I just feel like I barely show my hair now. So I was like, what's the difference? I'm going to do a slap of wig on. I guess when I take the wig off, I'm going to look like a boy, I guess. I don't know what I'm going to look like because I ain't never not had no hair. Ooh. I hope I look cute. But yeah, I was thinking about it because it's hard to manage sometimes when your hair long. But um, yeah, I was like, um, hair is hair. It's just a lot of um, women just obsessed with hair. Like they, and that don't define you as a woman anyway. Like you got long hair, but you done. Like come on now. So I mean, that's just really don't. Um, that's just really don't. <laughs> bother me because I feel like most of us wear wigs anyway so sure does it really matter I don't think you saw my previous comment you seem like a junior person oh thank you um yeah I just um I just was like good great words of encouragement yeah we should be encouraging each other just because you're going through chemo or you got cancer don't never be ashamed and then if you are going through that you should want to live your best life. And just imagine you in the car and you and you got your bald head and the wind is just blowing all on the head. I bet you that feel good because that's how I be feeling sometimes. Like, hair just be hot. And then if I just had no hair and the wind just blowing, it just feel like it'll get all through me and just give me a good feeling. Like, all the wind going just through the ball, you know? So, I wouldn't trip off no hair. Sure, I don't care. I'm telling you, half the time, we don't even be showing our hair. Like, most of us be wearing wigs, weeds, and smoke stuff. So, it don't matter. You know? Hair long or short, as long as it's a nice style. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That, that would be my hair. I know it's, it's a new thing. But you know what, Robin? Your hair, you had, you said you was bald. You would have never guessed. Look how beautiful. Like, okay, go to Robin Channel. Look how beautiful her hair is. Thick. It's um, it is beautiful. So, um, the woman that is suffering from cancer right now, go to Robin's um, Cookie Channel. See her hair. Your hair will grow back. Robin's hair is really. You would have never thought she was bald head. New hair is wow, and it's a new chick, yeah. I did a full cut, no hair at all, in 2012. Okay, so when you cut your hair in 2012, how was the growth process, Sugarfoot? And Sugarfoot has a um, bakery channel. Reggie, yeah. Hold on, I'm reading, guys. I got text. I'm sorry. Uh, Sugarfoot said my hair grew bad. She said yes. Oh, okay, she said that's the real. Yeah, no one knows what you've been through. That's a great celebrate your life. Go on the trip. Go do what you want to do. A lot of people like to discourage people. Like, you be telling somebody, oh, I want to go, like, I just want to go bungee jump or something. I want to go uh, skydive or something. They'll come with a story like, ooh, I saw last week when a person jumped off the plane and um, the parachute didn't um, come out and they smacked dead on the ground. Like, why are you going to tell somebody that that's going to that's gonna go skydive like i'll tell you people will discourage you sometimes just keep stuff to yourself and um and just go like yeah enjoy yourself yes if i'm suffering from any illness i i am going to enjoy myself and you need to live you know your last days or whatever the case may be 
you know, in good company, you know. And laughter and having positive people around you will keep you going strong and you, you will make it through. But if you're around a lot of depressed people, um, people that's not encouraging, that weighs on you because you already sick. So you want to be around somebody that's just going to make you sicker. Like, that's what they're going to do. And that worrying will kill you. And another thing, too, if you are suffering from um, any type of illness, diseases, or cancers, try to do, try to go look up plant-based diet. You should. Try to look up plant-based diet and try to eat that for a year straight and see what the sickness reverse. Somebody said something. Hold on. What'd you say? So nice to chat. I see some familiar channels and new channels I need to follow. Yes. Diane Hill said, um, I'm natural, no perm, but the hot flashes be jacking my hair up. I sweat in my head so bad, laugh aloud, but I wear headbands and hats, yeah. One of my sisters lost her hair. It did come back, but mine came back all white, then black again. I just wear a hat at times to let it um, grow without combing it all day. Yeah. That is true. That's why I love being around this community. I feel very happy here. Yes. So, uh, the Novel Crown, you doing a video or you have a channel or are you scared to do the channel? Is that what that was about? You were saying, do you have a channel? Y'all know I can't watch everybody. And it'd be hard for me to actually keep up and watch channels and also go to school. I used to be like that when I lost my hair, eyebrows, and lashes from my lupus. The initial shock is devastating, but it will pass. Yes, because I, girl, you are so energetic. I would have never thought that. I enjoy your channel so much. Hi, Mitchell. Oh, was that Michelle? I can't see. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I don't know. So should I release the? Uh, thank you. Just let me know. Okay. I can see us a lot I will. <laughs> So I'm going to try to, actually I'm going to try to um, lose some weight as well because um, I've never been this heavy. So I'm going to try to work on that. So when you guys probably be seeing me, it'd be me probably eating a salad. I'll take, I'll take your life. Who alive? Girl, you up here threatening people? Um, I said I'm going to, uh, who about that? Who deleted that? Oh, yeah. I don't know what. Yeah, the trolls be coming. They be hating on your girl. You know what? People be hating big time. There she go again. Somebody said huge pig. <laughs> Them trolls be tripping. What happened? I'm late to the convo. Just wanted to stop and say I enjoy your content. Just the person or something. Do an unboxing of uh, any bag you get. You know what? I really don't do unboxings. I just show up the real reveals. Um, um, I just do the uh, reveal sometimes. So, I might go home, get into my mini gallery. Oh, I have 20 pounds of COVID weight. Yes. Cool. COVID first started and everybody was at home. We was barbecuing. We was outside. We was swimming, doing all kinds of stuff. Ooh, I got so fat. I ate myself out of all my jeans in my closet. I was like, I was putting them on. I was like, I can't zip up none of them. But then I lost weight and then I could fit them again. But now they're a little bit tight. So I got to um, really stay on. I kind of watch what I eat. You know what I'm saying? They hate me because they ain't fly. Yeah, I get that a lot, you know. I get that. Like some people be like, oh, you think you all of that? Oh, um. You act like this, you act like that. But I was like, um, do I like my flip phone? Yes, girl, I love my flip phone. I'm on it right now. My iPhone wasn't even working. 
Um, yeah, they be all having all these um assumptions about me. I'm like, that's why I said we live right now. Y'all can ask me whatever y'all want to ask me. And some of the people that will watch this later, you can still comment about whatever you want to ask me, and I'll try to get to your comment. But y'all get that a lot, like, oh, you think you are that, oh, mean girls and all this other stuff. No, I'm just not mean girls. I just don't mess with nobody who I, the energy and stuff, like, if I talk to you and you ain't my cup of tea, you just not my cup of tea. Because for once, I'm not a flosser. Um, I'm not going to get on here and be showing um, all my bank accounts and stuff. I done told y'all that before all my cars or whatever my home like oh this is me look at all this stuff i got like no we we talking about handbags or whatever and i barely even show some of my luxury handbags a lot i just go through in phases as well you know and so i was just like all that assumptions and stuff if you ever was to get to know me i am a real down-to-earth person i'm just cool i just don't deal with the bs that's all that's all i can say i am not considered um that i think we all are beautiful we're all on here doing the same thing and you know even for the ones that are watching and don't create you are beautiful too you know oh maybe a what's on my flip phone setup <laughs> well, I, almost, I laughed real hard because i was like i don't even know how to do that like what do you do you just show the phone or something oh they got some cases for this phone oh they got some cases for this phone Amazon, I had, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. It was 200 cases. I mean, I had $200 worth of cases. I was like, what did I get out here? I really wonder why. What is that? Um, what's she saying? And I do, um, I do giveaways. You know why I do giveaways? Because I already told y'all that. I just love to give. And then I was like, I'm growing. I feel like you guys are my family. I give to my family. And I do pick, I used to use a comic picker stuff, but I do pick who I want to give the giveaways to because that's my choice, it's my channel, and I want to be fair. And I still go by, and when someone says that I normally don't comment, but I do watch, I do click and see how long you've been subscribed to my channel. You will get picked, you know, but you can't just be coming like today, subscribe today, and then be like, oh, lie, and be like, I've been watching you for, for uh, two years already or a year whatever and then you click on it she just described the other day like that ain't gonna fly but yeah i don't read somebody comment but um she said i really wonder why people to try to tell folks what they think about themselves folks seem like they just want to find something wrong yeah they do and all that i'm just not with all that fake stuff like i'm not gonna be just be I just don't feel like you should be paying for your subscribers and stuff and um, like doing all this stuff for to get people to just come to watch you and stuff. I feel that's why I said if you be yourself, people will come and watch you. Like, why are you paying people to watch you? You don't have to give nobody nothing to watch you. You know, they're supposed to like your channel just come for you. Not just be like, oh, what you give me and all this stuff. Like, I do break my giveaways up, but that's just me. But I feel like I'm not paying for nobody to come and watch me like nah you supposed to watch me because you like my channel like i'm not about to have 20 giveaways um every month or something like that and i go through my moments where like right now i hit four we got like what two giveaways going we about to have a third one and then sometimes i give away the stuff that i got from collaborations and stuff because sometimes i do have too much you know no matter how kind and drama free you are someone is going to find something negative to say about you so just ignore it. they do anybody would yeah um someone always gonna find some negative to say but you don't let that get to you that's why my live chats are different than my videos like we can talk about whatever you guys want to talk about like i'm down i'm open and we're gonna agree to disagree um, I'm glad I stopped by to watch your live tonight. You have a very down there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I feel like um, we can say what we want to say on the live. And I feel like if you don't like what somebody's saying, you don't even have to leave a rude comment. You can just unsubscribe and don't watch me no more. You know what I mean? Like, simple as that. And I won't take it to heart or nothing. I won't even know who it was, you know? Because I don't really be looking through, through all that stuff, you know? And it's just like, you know, 
I and then I don't want to be sounding rude or whatever, but when I was on one of the lives, I said I call it um, happy mail because uh, I was saying you don't know the people that is sending you happy mail. I mean, yeah, yeah, the happy mail. You can't say friend mail because you don't know them. So how friend is a strong word to me. And you know, that's not being rude, that's just being real. Like you not my friend, I don't know you like that and you just sent me something. So I'm gonna call it happy mail and that's not me being rude or stuck up or whatever. Like I don't appreciate it cause I appreciate anything because somebody don't have to do uh, nothing for you. You know, you, nobody, nobody owes you nothing. So I'm just like, um, I'm just like, you know, I just call it happy mail for that reason. And then if we grow to be friends after you send me happy mail or whatever and we click and we have good conversations, then we can move on to a um a better like friendship or whatever. But that's just me. And I just want people to know sometimes don't force um the friend mail either like don't force it on someone like don't make someone think that they have to send you something back you know because it's not always work like that me i have been slow on that so i hope it, no one doesn't feel a, a certain type of way because i have been busy like i'm in school i just went on a vacation i went on two back to back so i'm just like um you know don't take it the wrong way if i haven't sent you nothing right away so i was thinking for my um birthday robin i was thinking i don't want to say because if i do vlog but i may go out of town again and i may not so all i know is i really don't see any bag that i want right now i have another one coming which i probably won't unbox and um i don't know i plan to go out of town and if i don't i'll probably do something just simple but most of the time, now since everything is kind of like open, um, I may go somewhere, you know. So that's what I tend to do. And um, I don't know, I haven't saw anything that I truly wanted. I haven't saw anything that I truly want, like for my birthday. I don't know. I already got my flip phone, so I, I'm not getting a phone. Oh, maybe I'll get those, um, those Galaxy earbuds in purple. I may get it next week, so I don't know. And I was like, we all got birthdays coming up or the birthdays just passed, but we all been shopping. I'm like, when the birthday comes, it's like, what else you gonna get? <laughs> You've been shopping like literally all year long for three years. I know it's just been more intense since COVID because we were like all in the house. And, um, and um, you know, um, we just been shopping because we was in the house for like basically three years. I have you could have you compared the coach Jamie Richland and the coach Nolita? Yes, I have did that. Um, go down my channel. Her name went by so fast. Go down my channel, you'll see it. It's like a couple of videos. I have did that, the comparison from for the Jamie and the Nolita. And you guys know what? I actually like the Jamie, and the Jamie is cheaper. Oh, yeah. Football. Exactly, we shot too much. I'll see you birthday now. What you want? Aw, I don't know. I don't know what I want. Just find me something cute. It don't have to be expensive. Let me tell you something about me. Um, people just really don't believe that. Like when I really don't know what I want, I will tell my honey bunny to send me balloons. I love balloons and cards. You really don't have to send me much or nothing. I I am um, just grateful to get anything. Whatever you you find, anything cute, cute. You know, cute, cute. I'll take it. Like I still have all the cards in the um. Wait, the Jamie wristlet is forty four dollars now. Forty four fifty. T. Rodriguez be on it. Oh, gift card. Yeah, you can always send somebody a gift card. Um, stuff like that. Now that's another thing. If you think, not saying it's me. But if you think someone has an abundance of items like bags or you think they have like this amazing life and they buy all the time and you really don't know what to get a person, get them a gift card or something because I have heard people have said like, you buy too much, not saying I, but you buy too much 
I just don't know what to give you. Or you're you're just spoiled, so you have everything, so I don't know what to give you. So I feel like um, if you feel like someone has everything, because I don't think no one has everything. You can't possibly have everything, every item in the world. So if you think someone has more than you or they living a better life than you and you want to do something for them, you could always give them a gift card. It could be $20, 15 dollars 10 I don't know how much they let you load. I haven't bought one in a long time. You can um, give a gift card and let them decide what they want. It, $20 helps. Like, it doesn't have to be big. $20 helps because you get somebody a $20 gift card, they can go on and go to coach and put that $20 towards the bag. Go to Dooney and get something. Um, buy something to eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, take them to lunch. A gift card works all the time. That's what I do for stores that they like. Yeah. But I'm not picky, though. Like, I know a lot of people probably like, eh, you look like you high maintenance or whatever. The trolls are on loose. What happened? I can't see it. I didn't see it. Um... And you know what? I have gotten more trolls than I have ever had at all. And I can see people go live and don't have no trolls. But um, I don't know. I don't see them. What's shaking my head? What happened, um, Jersey? I think Phenomenal, she was getting out of work. So I know some of my moderators, they probably getting off work and stuff. And I do understand. But that don't bother me. Just ignore them. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me know. I don't see it. I'm looking back. I don't see nobody that I could delete. What happened to JD, um, 2018? She was a troll? What she say? I didn't see you blocked her. What happened? She in here tripping? Oh. What happened? I don't know. Somebody got blocked. Oh, it says the Jersey girl for life view deleted message. It says you deleted uh, her message. No, she was there. Oh, uh, okay. So, any questions before we wrap this up? It's, it's dark time now. It's getting time. <laughs> I think I done ate enough. Look, I didn't even drink all my soda. Like, do that. Okay, oh, y'all in here. She was speaking about someone else's teeth, and I thought she was talking about you. What teeth? Why, though? Oh, ain't nothing wrong with my teeth, honey. I don't know. I didn't see it because y'all deleted that. Y'all delete that fast. I didn't see it. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know. That's what I'm telling you. When you deal with YouTube, you got to deal with a whole lot. Like a whole lot. Like people will come by and say the most craziest things. Um, everything. Oh, Lynette, thank you so much for the 10 hours. You're so sweet. Thank you, um, Jersey 2 for $5. I do appreciate you guys. Hey, girl, you know, if any of you guys ever go live, let me know because I would love to be there to support you. And I, I, like I say, a lot of times I cannot watch everybody. Sometimes I miss. Um, I'm listening to Folded Laundry, so I'm not reading. Oh, okay, that's okay, girl. I know everybody's busy. And it's a Thursday. So, um, I know, um, yeah, if anybody ever, a thing with lives, too, if you, I feel like I would love to see some of you ladies go live, like, and, and enjoy and interact with you guys. I know you have to probably build that up, but some of you guys should start going live on your own. It's not, lives are not just meant for certain people. We all live. That's the feature that YouTube offers for you. So some of you ladies should go live and try to interact with some of your subscribers that don't do YouTube and get to know your subscribers because that's how I got to know a lot of people's names. I um, talk to people outside of um, YouTube. So it's been a blessing. Like all the positivity has been really a blessing. So before we end this live, do anybody have anything they would like to ask me? I want to do, you guys want me to do a live what is it? Q and A. You guys want to go by? Let me know. Ooh, excuse me. Who are that chicken? I probably will put it on my community post if you guys will like um, 
a live um, Q and A or something. Like I could go live and we could just chit chat. I don't think I could go live. Um, what did you say? No, she, she no. You said people get on here with the teeth. What? Um, let's say you said people get on here with the teeth missing, so she replied, Oh, <laughs> where'd she go? It's like she disappeared. So glad you, so glad you, you found something to make you happy. What she said, what she found? Okay, Flabu, the person to me has really changed my life and made me so happy. I suffer from an illness, and, and one thing my therapist shared with me was to do things that make me happy. Well, I know you don't want nobody in your business, but what illness that you suffer from, but uh, the trolls missing teeth. <laughs> uh, ooh, you know, sometimes you can't even talk about such stuff. And let me tell you something. When I do a live, I'm not talking about no other YouTuber, and I'm definitely not talking about nobody that's in this chat or nothing. I be like, why do people think you go live and you be thinking about them? Nobody be thinking about them. It's my channel and I'm going to talk how I freely and what I want to do. I'm not talking about nobody like personal. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Um, You should do a lot of stuff to make you happy. But also I want to ask, I'm first happy to um, I don't know, Phenomenal still in here, Jersey Girl, Julia B, Sugarfoot, Little Miss, um, Personaholic. Um, hello, Princess. Hi. Anybody that's in here, um, that even Hello Princess, since she's in here, you guys are YouTubers. Have YouTube made you buy more than what you usually will buy? Has it put a financial strain on your income? Um, are you buying back? Well, I, I mean, people don't want to be, in, I don't want to be in y'all business, but I have that question. Um, like, has YouTube made you, has your purse addiction got worse since you're on YouTube? Do you feel like you have to buy to keep up with others? Or if you just coast it like me, you just buy what you like and you just, um, you know, going to show it. Okay, so... You guys can answer that if you want to. Um, so the live Q&A. So what do I do? So I'm going to put it on my community post. And you guys are going to leave the questions that you want to know about me on there. And it doesn't have to be about me. It could be anything that you guys want to discuss in the live. I enjoy the, your live stream too. Oh, thank you. So I'm first happy too. You need to go live. I think, have you been live before? You're right. Okay, maybe I'll get your answers together. I just buy what I like and skip what I don't. Mm hmm Yes, I've always shot too much. Ooh, me too. I got it bad. Um, uh, I love to watch. Gives me inspiration on the cool goodies you have. I'm I have, I've had a purse addiction since 1992. Ooh, good. I just love buying and a purse whenever I want. And also, Press Happy too. you said you buy a bag and you sell a bag to, I mean, you replace it, right? So you meaning that if you see a bag that you like, you're going to go in your collection and sell one and replace it with the bag that you like, right? I believe so or no. She said she suffered one. I swell up on one. All the embedema on and onset of any trauma to my body. I'm currently on disability, however, I am managing my illness and literally taking one day at a time. Yeah, sending healing and prayers. Yes, healing and prayers. Yes, do what makes you happy and stay away from negative people. And then try to get people to love you at your best and at your worst. You know, if you could find some someone to love you, meeting a man or one man, like you, you have homegirls that will love you at your worst. That don't mean you, you know, attracted to women. But you can have someone love you at your worst and at your best. And I think that's a great friend to have because some people will leave you if you have no hair. Some people will leave you if you have um, diabetes or lupus or, you know, anything that, you know, they don't want to feel like you a burden on them or you're going to take over their life. They got to take care of you. Get around people that is going to, like, if you're out with someone and your your sickness happens to overcome you, they're going to come for you. They're going to be like, well, let's sit down for a little bit. Let's take a rest. 
and um, if however far we are, just sit here for a moment, get yourself together, and we're gonna go back to the car. We're gonna go. I'm gonna drop you back off at home. Don't get with no one else. I'm like, man, she always sick, you know. Every time I go somewhere with her, you know, I gotta, I gotta act like she a, a little baby, you know. Don't be around people like that, cause that's that's not that's not good. I have purchased a bit more than usual. Yes, I have juicy unboxes coming. Ooh, that juicy couture stuff. Baby, I was like, ooh, we all went crazy over that stuff. Now, let me tell you something. Like, I think I'm over it because, okay, back in the days, it was cool. My purple wallet, the button that came off of, I had to use some E6000 glue to glue it back. The little snap open wallet, it ripped where the um, button closure is. The zipper on that Raspberry Speedy ain't zipping right. I'm like, nah, I think I gotta leave that alone. I know people love Juicy, but that stuff, that just ain't for me. Like, that stuff tearing up. And uh, you guys know how many bags I use. I'm not even in them bags like that. That stuff be tearing up. What kind of Juicy you got? Y'all see they got the shearling, the little fur bags, some juicy, juicy Couture. Those are cute, but I was like, nah, I'm cool. Okay, so let's go back to the live Q and A. So you guys want me to post that on the community post with questions? No, I'm gonna. I guess I'll be like live Q and A. Drop a question down below that you want to want me to ask during the live, right? And then you know what I don't like too. When you got an opinion, girl, I saw some new ones today. I passed on it. Yes, and let me tell you something. People have a right to their opinion. I can't stand it when you say something about a handbag or you don't like a handbag or and a handbag messing up and this brand ain't working for you. People shouldn't get mad. They should not get mad because everything happens differently to other people. People will get mad if you don't agree about them handbags. They are handbags, okay? Um, It's just like, it's like you can't say nothing without somebody getting mad. So don't take it the wrong way. Juicy just don't work out for me. Like it may work out for you, you know? Yeah, I like what I like. And you like what you like. <laughs> and I don't like it. No. <laughs> but I do watch the videos though. The Juicy, the Juicy What's In My Bags videos is good. Like I still watch them. But I was like, when that zipper broke, and uh, I had to glue that button on. That had flashbacks to when you just didn't have no money like that. And you had to glue that stuff. You know how you used to walk in the store and then the uh, purse strap would break on you? When you had them cheap bags, ooh, that was flashbacks. I don't like it. I don't want to live like that. I just don't. And let me tell you something. Walmart bags last way better than the juicy bags. I was shocked. I was like, ooh, I have PSD. Yes, that stuff is embarrassing. You go into the cash register and you open up your wallet, the button that flew off on the other side and then landed on the ground. They look at it and I'm like, mm, mm, mm. Just like the press on nails, they'll pop right off. You be flying over. That stuff be embarrassing. You got me wanting a Dooney, I got to say, but yeah, Dooney is pretty reasonable. I say Dooney is, um, Dooney is really reasonable. I like it. I like certain bags from them. What's happening? She said, I can't understand how people get upset about handbags. Handbags are designed for us to accessorize uh, any way you like and have fun doing it. You crack me up. No. But when I say stuff like that, that don't mean I'm not going to watch your video. Because I know you're going to come with the fire. I know when you do your juicy, you're going to be pulling, like, you know, beautiful items out your handbag. I'm not going to say because you got the juicy bag, I'm not going to watch you. But yeah, I'll watch you because I know you're going to have some cute accessories. And I might need to go copy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, sure. Don't take it to heart. Yeah, I love doing it, too. Robin well, got a cute little orange. Was that you that had the orange or was that Tara makeups and handbags? Somebody had an orange cute Dooney that thing I'm about. No, I think she had a yellow. Was the Robin had a yellow with a um 
um, a yellow, well, what? Was it a yellow trim? Somebody had something that was real cute from doing that. Oh, you had me on there crying after talking about the buttons popping up in there. It did. Oh, thank you, little Miss Person Holly. You know what? I didn't even know I had this on. What is this? Um, what is it? The what is this thing called? When they see the money, what's that? The super chat. Is that what that's going on? She said, "Love your channel and personality, boo." My question is, what tips do you have to grow Purse Channel? It seems hard even though it's so much fun all right so do y'all want to get real real let, oh wait let me see my my phone may be dying i can't tell because if this thing cut off y'all know the phone the day i don't even know i'm scared to touch it well, i don't even know but i'm gonna just answer if it cut off i don't know i know it was charged all the way up okay so let's read it again my question is, what tips do you have to grow a purse channel? It seems hard, even though it's so much fun. First question is, little Miss Personaholic, how long have you been buying handbags? Have you just came to YouTube recently and started buying handbags? Because you see all the women in the community buying handbags. And, um, you know, you got to um, give me something here. Because what I want to say, if you are not a handbag buyer like that, you may want to um, do something else on YouTube. Because, um, and also it depends on your income, everybody on different incomes. And it also depends if you want to use your credit cards to slide, you know, slide your credit cards to pay for these bags. Or do you want to pay them cash right out? Do you want to use those, what? Connor, y'all know I be getting that name mixed up because I don't mess around with that stuff. Um, after pay, uh, what's the other one? Whatever that stuff is. So that's the pins because I feel like if you are going to do a purse channel, and I know some people have never really like, some people just was like, I came to YouTube and seen other people do it, so I'm gonna do it too. But you've never been a buyer like that. So how do you think you're going to come to YouTube and buy handbags and and be successful, you know? So let me see what she said. I think her country. She said, I've been buying bags for many years, but I just got the courage to start a channel. Okay, so if you are a bag lover and you can buy bags and you can continue to buy bags and you don't have to put yourself in financial strain, you don't have to use all those services like that to keep up, come and do your channel. But don't be like, don't come if you're just not a bag lover and you just don't have money like that to buy bags. And then you don't always have to buy the newest bags. Like say you've been collecting bags like I'm Purse Happy 2 from since 1992. You got bags. You can come and show all that old stuff and people still don't want to see because it's like, oh, that's a rare bag. I've never seen that before. Yeah, because you probably wasn't born or, nothing or whatever the case may be. Or you wasn't at that time, you wasn't shopping or whatever. You know what I mean? So that's the question. The thing is, I feel like you should not want to put your family and your life in jeopardy to try to keep up with other people buying handbags. And that's a lot of things that will go on. Like, it will be rat races where you feel like you probably need to buy this and this and that because this person is buying this, so I need to keep up, I need to do this. This is why I say encourage you, if you like bags, you got older bags, new bags, or you buying bags, come and do them. Don't really focus on what someone else is doing on their channel. Don't try to keep up with somebody else because everybody's finances is different. So, I'm just saying, say you like handbags, but you got a smart collection but you make charms or you make um, soap or you make hair jewels. That's your main thing. So you need to come here and do your main thing, which is your soap, your nail charms, whatever. You know, I make nail charms, whatever you want to do. Charms, um, sprays, candles, whatever you're making. Because that's what's going to keep your channel going. You can't do something that you just ain't used to doing. Well, she said, I've been buying bags for many years, but I just got the courage to start a channel. Okay, well, go ahead. This is the place for you then. If you're a bag lover, this is the place for you. Because a lot of people ain't going to tell you how they're getting them bags. 
just don't come on here and be fronting like you you know you buying them bags but you know you know what you're doing don't just come on here lying pretty much i couldn't get back into juicy this new juicy ain't made like the early thousands juicy then they were over 300 bucks and a quality bag got my first juicy from rama in 03 pay almost 400 yeah juicy used to be expensive they used to be next door to lose the time uh, I do have a lot of purses. Okay, yeah. A person will literally go in debt buying purses trying to keep up. I agree. Don't do that. You look beautiful, sweetie. Great to check your life. Oh, hey, tarot makers and handbags. I think we talked about you. Julie B, that's what I remember about the beginning. Okay, okay. Thank you for the great advice. Oh, you're welcome. I hope. Was it good advice? Because I don't know. Because I can only speak from what, you know, I feel. Um, maybe some of the other ladies can tap in and say how they really truly feel because um, And then when you get monetized here on YouTube the money is not that great You have to get like a lot of views to get a decent, you know check So don't come here thinking about to be rich in two seconds or whatever. I don't know You know, I, I came here because I really like to do what I'm doing now And just showing handbags and my channel is just carefree like I'm not here to be showing off um, you know my job or my house my car like i want to come here and just i don't need validation i feel like don't come here looking for validation you know what i'm saying like you don't need validation like you i mean i know some people do suffer from self low self-esteem and stuff like that due to issues or whatever the case may be but i feel like once you get a certain age and you are an adult you need to let that go and you need to get the confidence and you need to just do it i'm not always correct some of my videos I be tired I don't speak correctly all the time but I don't care because I'm not here to show you that oh I'm this this fancy proper woman and I just want to have the best vocabulary in the whole entire world you know like no I don't do that so you know I'm not gonna be editing out certain stuff when I don't say stuff right I don't care half the time I forget and I'm tired I don't know I don't know the names I'm too you know busy whatever the case may be do you like oh what happened Nah, that shit work. Ooh, that phone might be getting low, huh? I have a very Bradley. Y'all back on? We all right? Yes, Robin. It was made very well. Do you like that? Okay. I do my channel and videos just for fun. Yes, Tara, make up her bags. You do, girl. You be having a good time over there. She got the shortest what's in my bags ever. They be three minutes. Yeah, it is an expensive hobby, but... Also, you might want to start your channel off with a couple of the, um, the little handbags that you do have. And not saying when I say little like it's a bad thing, but you may want to start off with your smaller collection and then you may want to start vlogging. Or you may want to um, um, do spiritual on here. You know, you're, you're, you, you can change anytime. You can, um, it's your channel. You don't have to be tied into doing what's in my bag. And the thing is, if you get off the what's in my bags, and some people just won't get off the what's in my bags because the views look good. Um, you know, everybody know what's in my bag going to hit if you're in the community most of the time. So a lot of people won't get off of that because they need that. They need the thousand views in two minutes or whatever the case may be, or a thousand um, views in one minute. I mean, in a day or whatever the case may be. But... I feel like don't let it discourage you because if you just don't want to do what's in my bags all the time, you just don't want to. If you want to vlog and only two to three people, two to three hundred people watch that vlog, that's just what it is. You can't be afraid to branch out. And then it's like, you shouldn't really come here to be rich in my opinion or you shouldn't really come here to be like, oh, I want to be rich off of YouTube. Like, I feel like you should let that come naturally though. You really should. And if you want to do something other than the what's in my bag, you will gain another audience. You will um, branch off and other people will come. Different people will come, you know? And it's sad though that you will support people. Honestly, you will support and then when you show something new, they don't want to support, they don't want to see that, you know? But that's their choice. But you know, if, you know, we all women we all encourage it i watch stuff i watch a lot of stuff i just don't watch what's in my bag so when i see somebody do something new like i remember miss pretty brown woman she cooked she made a delicious healthy low carb meal and i liked it so you know i don't know if she still does them but i mean i feel like 
don't give up, I will watch because why not? You was already watching that person. So just because you don't do no what's in my bag, you don't, know, you don't want to watch her, that means you really don't want to get to know anyone. That means you just want to be nosy in somebody's finances or something because it's a bot. So when you're doing what's in my bags and all that stuff, you're buying. So people want to count your pockets and stuff because when somebody do a low carb, healthy meal and the thumbnail look okay, you should want to do it. You know, you should want to watch it. Like, why not? Because it ain't um, designer, because it's not a Louis Vuitton um, low carb meal. You know what I'm saying? What's somebody say? Do a spiritual on here for real though. What you have a passion to do. A lot of people have. I have counseled people before. I do have a passion of, of helping. And I do. I do. But I was like, you know, we can do that on the chats. If you guys want me to start doing, you know, chats like this, coming by, doing encouraging stuff. Like me personally, I'm not going to go. I have no, this is not taking shade from anybody because my home girl Julia B does that. But I don't go and look at other people's quotes. I'm not going to be reading other people's quotes and um, trying to um, get a message out of that because I feel like I, my spiritual got to come from within me. I can't copy other people. But just because I said that don't mean I'm not going to read her quotes when she put on the community post. I'll be like, oh, they be good, but I just not like that. I was like, I like my stuff for me to come from the heart, you know, so I'm not going to be reading other people's, you know, spiritual stuff and copying them. I like to watch different handbag and accessory videos. Okay. I just love to see everyone's bags and see something cute. I haven't seen, so it's just fun. Yeah, it is fun. Because you know, that's what I say, ain't nobody the best because you know when um, anybody doing what's in my bag, I feel like everybody what's in my bag will be fired because they going to be pulling something out that you ain't got. Like, you know you're going to go and see something and I'll be like, oh, that's cute. Let me add that to court or something. You know what I mean? So, I don't get that. All the ones in my bags ain't the same. Now, it may be because all the Dollar Tree stuff, if you get all the Dollar Tree stuff, maybe some of our stuff maybe look the same. But for the most part, back then it wasn't. But, yeah, so we will do. So, I think when I get home, I will do... Are you at Applebee's? No. Oh, you didn't see Simone Morris. I am at Sizzlers. You got to probably go back and watch the replay. I'll show the um, salad bar and the food bar and everything. Um, yeah, so I will do the live Q&A. And um, tonight, I guess, if anybody will see it in the morning, I guess I will leave it on the community post. I'm going to say live Q&A. Um, with me drop a question you know leave a comment or whatever drop a question down below or whatever the case may be i was in the closet what i do <laughs> uh now i was talking about the spiritual quotes you know you be putting i just was like i still read them but you was like do a spiritual channel and i was like well i can't copy other people's words and stuff like i have to just use my own words i really love how okay let me read a couple of comments because oh it's doc time y'all said doc time i gonna give me I really love how the purse community ladies support each other. It's very motivating. Yes, everybody support each other. I love seeing your Dollar Tree items because I never did a good walk around at ours to know about all the goods they have. Do you like Dollar Tree um, items? Uh, I'm purse happy too. Can you find any of the um, pouches and stuff? If you can, I think you follow me on Instagram. Text me on Instagram. I will send you a couple of pouches. And I would be gladly to give you some happy meal if you want it. Love, I love watching all vlogs. It keeps my mind focused and all the things I be going through. Yes, yeah, a lot of people are going through some stuff too. But yeah, you just got to stay strong and don't let it beat you down. Like, it's just life is just life, you know? I remember I had a blood clot in my lungs way earlier. So I know when people are going through sickness issues and health and stuff, that stuff ain't no joke. I do. I never seen them here. So you want some? Okay, you follow me on Instagram, right? I'm I Miss Purse Happy too. Let me know before I jump off. And get what time it is. It's six forty eight. Should we do a live Dollar Tree? Y'all go. I'ma uh, cut the camera. I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree and <laughs> see if I can find um I Miss Purse Happy too. Oh, that's what I should do. Let's see. Ooh, well I got my charge in the car. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Y'all might not stick around. Like, this is what I do. I roll around all day. 
I just ain't got nothing to do since I ain't got no job. <laughs> Who I'm living my best life? I ain't never had so much freedom in my life. Um, so um, what I'll do is I'm gonna end it here, and I'm going to see which phone is going to act right, and I'm going to go Google Dollar Tree. Let's see, cause I'm not near, nowhere near my house. Um, I'm going to Google Dollar Tree, and then I'm going to go live if I can in there, and then I'm gonna let I Miss Purse Happy too. I'm going to let I, Miss Press Happy 2, I was reading, pick out the pouches. So would you like to do that, I, Miss Press Happy 2, or are you tired, you got to go to work? I know everybody got to go to work. But over here, it's only $6.49, and the Dollar Tree should not be too far from here. I can go really quick, and you can be on the camera picking out the pouches that you want. Versus me just going to get something. You know what I'm saying? You can be like, I want this one, I want that one. All right, right, Dodger. Let me know right now. I'm first happy too. Like, yes, I can. Matter of fact, I'm about to Google how far Dollar Tree is. I'm going to let you know how long it's going to take me to get there. Hold on. Let me see. Ooh, I hope this phone don't die. That's it. All right, actually. I'll, yes, I'll be awake. Thank you. Oh, okay, cool. Let me see how far the um, Dollar Tree is. I know these people like, she get out here with all the howling in her ass doing her. Okay. Uh, allow Apple to use the Okay. Let's put in Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Okay, let's see how far it is from there. Okay. It's one 1.0 miles, so we cool. Alright. Now let's see if the live, because I remember I went to one Dollar Tree and the live was just not working in there. So let's see, we're gonna go to the one. Yeah, that's the closest one. I hope they got some cute pouches because you could get some Dollar Trees that just ain't got no good pouches. I want to thank everyone for that $25. That was so sweet. See, we about to use that $25 for something good because I miss Purse Happy 2. Could not find any Dollar Tree pouches. So I already have another giveaway coming up. Well, uh, yeah, the one giveaway is coming up and then the Dollar Tree pouches. I did find some other Dollar Tree pouches that I am giving away, but, um, yeah, so, I, well, since it's alive and you guys came in, I'm personally happy to want some, um, some pouches from Dollar Tree. All right, so, I am going to go live at the Dollar Tree, because I know she may have to go to work, because she has a good job, and she needs to be a rest, so she says she's going to be up. So, anybody want to say their goodbyes, any last questions? By Julia B. Phenomenal and Miss, uh, no, what's her name? Sugarfoot. Thank you guys so much for helping me with the trolls. I do appreciate that. I'm going to try to get some more moderators, um, like my family members. I don't know if they, you know, if they could come on sometimes to help me out. Um, I will have to catch the playback. It's almost 2 p.m. All right. Uh, yes. You in New Jersey, right? Right? Then we talked about that. I think that's why you got the NJ, right? Hmm. I'm going to wait. Okay. All right. So this will end. Thank you guys so much for eating a sizzlers with me and having a great time. I really enjoy myself. I really enjoy the lives and just having fun with you guys and the videos and we just be having a good time. And that's what it's all about. Like, yeah, life is not always happy, but here on YouTube, your channel, it could be happy, you know? All right, so I said I was gonna stay at the Dollar Tree. Ooh. <laughs> I miss first happy to make me go to Dollar Tree. <laughs> I just needed an excuse to go to the Dollar Tree, huh? All right, thank you guys so much for watching, coming by this live. I think we had a great time, and I truly enjoyed um, this one. I enjoy all of them. So, um, what somebody said? Oops, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so I will see you guys on the next one. Good night. Everyone be safe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. <laughs>